than one veterans returning home from the Inland Northwest Honor Flight were met with a hero's welcome tonight. Good evening. You're watching KXLY4 Nightside. I'm Aaron Luna. It was a short trip to the nation's capital for these vets, but one they won't likely soon forget. Our Nightside reporter Kyle Simchuk was there for that emotional homecoming. Kyle, this trip set a new record for the Inland Northwest Honor Flight. Oh yeah, Aaron, this is the most vets that they've ever taken on a single flight. 101 in all, 9 from World War II, 37 from the Korean War, and 55 from the Vietnam War. Now, they were all left Monday afternoon and returned home tonight at the Spokane International Airport for a very emotional homecoming. Flags, family, and Americans. We need this patriotism in our country today more than anything. We're very excited. We've been waiting for hours. <laughs> A patriotic display lined up at Spokane International Airport tonight, waiting to welcome home some of our nation's bravest. I'm uh, here to see my best friend come in. He's on the plane. Tom Felton has flown this trip before. He remembers how it felt when the crowds were here for him. It was a homecoming we didn't get from Vietnam. I was crying. There were tears once again tonight as veterans finally arrived, some in wheelchairs, others on their own two feet. All seemed to be overwhelmed by the crowds lined up to shake their hands. Totally unexpected, so overwhelming, wonderful. Super exciting and then very emotional. For these vets, it's been a busy 48 hours. They left Spokane Monday afternoon and this morning toured our nation's war memorials. And some of those memorials brought back a lot of memories and, and uh, emotion. I couldn't believe it, the way those statues are made and how they look like real people. And it's, it's just very super interesting. It's a trip they will never forget and a homecoming they've always deserved. I would like to see every veteran go on this trip. And a quick reminder, Honor Flight is an organization that flies veterans to our nation's capital for free uh, to see the memorial built in their honor. Now, on these trips, these veterans actually put up with a lot. Their flight was delayed five hours out of Spokane, so they ended up leaving around 1 p.m., got into D.C. late, had to go to the hotel, didn't have too much time to tour that evening, and then one of their tour buses also broke down, but they were certainly in good spirits tonight. Reporting live on the Skydeck, Kyle Simchuk, KXY4 Nightside.